What's up everyone, Noah here, from 840 Movie Caps. Guys, what would you do if someone would break into your house with you inside it? Really, how would you react? Stay tuned if you are up for some answers. Lots of spoilers coming your way. It's not that bad to be rich. Or at least that's what it looks like when you look at the property presented at the beginning of the movie. A young man quietly drinks a refreshing juice in the Mediterranean air, eats an orange from his orchard, then relaxes in the sun in front of the pool. Finally, he decides to enter the house. Not weird at all, he's starting to wipe his fingerprints. First flag alert. He begins to search behind the paintings, through closets, in the dressing room, stealing all the precious goods found, including money. He even finds a gun. Unfortunately, the owners, CEO and wife, come home unexpectedly. The young man did not expect it. Although the CEO was in the mood for some action, his wife makes him unpack his bags. Nobody wants to flee but is surprised by the owner's wife. In a moment of shock, he takes wife hostage and threatens the CEO. The CEO is trying to get nobody to let them go, but with no chance of success. Nobody decides to tie the two. Nobody agrees to go with the CEO into the office in an attempt to find other valuables besides the Rolex watch and the money already taken. The CEO is convinced that nobody knows him, although he doesn't seem to. Nobody asks the CEO if there is a gun in the house, and the CEO lies shamelessly to him. He found the secret closet, which was about $5,000 in it. Nobody seems determined to leave. He also ties the CEO. All three of them leave the house. The two don't seem to understand the criminal's plan. He takes them to the sauna with the intention of closing them there. The CEO refuses to listen to him, he doesn't want to be barricaded in the sauna. When nobody threatens his wife, the CEO agrees. Nobody blocks the two in the sauna, regardless of the excuses and discontents of the two husbands. However, nobody, instead of leaving the property, continues to spin for no particular purpose, hides their phones and pistol and runs hysterically through the yard. When he finally got to the car, he thought for a moment, let go, but something makes him change his mind and turn off the engine. He sees a surveillance camera hidden in the tree at the edge of the property. Back in the yard, he takes the gun and goes to the sauna, surprise, the CEO and wife escaped and run away. Nobody tries to catch them, running after them through the orchard. Nobody decides to follow the CEO in the hope that he will catch him easier, which he succeeds. Threatening the CEO causes wife to surrender as well. The CEO doesn't seem to know anything about the security camera. Nobody is offended by the CEO lies. There's no way he can trust him after he lied to him about the gun. It remains unclear who owns the security cameras. The CEO and wife believe that if they offer some more money, they will escape. Nobody thinks and asks for $150,000 to disappear. The CEO doesn't think that much money is enough to disappear. Wife proposes to offer $300,000 to nobody to disappear. But the CEO thinks it's still not enough. Nobody's asking for $3 million. Everything is hysterical. A meaningless discussion ensues, but wife realizes she has some physiological needs and interrupts the conversation. The CEO wants to know why nobody attacked this place exactly. It seems that he had some inside info since he targeted this house exactly. They come to the conclusion that $500,000 would be a fair amount for them to be released. It remains to be seen how they will make things work. The CEO is trying to get the money ready. The CEO has a video call with his assistant to prepare the money. He asks for $500,000 in cash to be brought to his villa. Looks like it'll take until tomorrow night to get the money. He is waiting for confirmation of the money by email. There's a cringe scene coming up on the terrace. Wife is interested in nobody. Wife begins to tell him about herself and how she met the CEO. It failed nobody. It seems the CEO wants a child with wife, but nobody has noticed that she is taking birth control pills. The CEO wants to know if he'd upset nobody with anything. He's obviously great. He is proud of his achievements. He believes he enriches many others. It helps people develop. He did not say how much he actually got rich. He also seems convinced that nobody will use the $500,000 for selfish purposes. They end up in a Zen garden. The CEO is proud of this garden, so proud, that he eases in a corner. Next, nobody gets the chance to see a movie in the CEO's outdoor cinema hall. It's getting dark. CEO suggests wife approaches the criminal to find out what he's thinking. Nobody decides to separate the two overnight. Wife decides to leave her room and follow nobody, trying to get his attention. It looks like she can't sleep and it's gonna be a long night. The CEO seems to be sleeping like a baby. He doesn't seem to be affected by what's going on. Nobody and wife are talking in the night. 
Wife suggests that she has a perfect life and that they want a child, but nobody knows the truth. They reach a series of personal questions, but nobody avoids the subject. Wife knows that the CEO asked for the money as being for Debbie. She begins to tell how she actually misses her life before marriage, her friends. She seems to be aware of the decisions she has made, even if she is not fully satisfied. She's still trying to get close to nobody. Finally, she decides to go to bed. The next day finds the three having breakfast together. The atmosphere is relatively tense. CEO seems nervous. He believes nobody was affected by one of his business decisions. The CEO still believes that everything he has done is fully deserved, every penny earned is his. He saw the opportunity and took advantage of it. Wife feels attacked by her husband's statements. A car can be heard, the gardener appears at the property. The CEO and wife did not know that he was coming to do his job. CEO and wife are sent to the office, and nobody seems to not know how to handle the situation. After all, the CEO goes to talk to the gardener. The gardener wants to thank the two for the job offer, but the CEO closes the door in his nose. The gardener starts doing his job, while the three characters hide in the bedroom. Nobody glanced out the window and was seen by the gardener, or so he thought. The gardener again showed up at the door. Nobody is presented as his wife's cousin. All four go to the garden. The gardener tries to present his work, despite nobody's insistence. But the gardener is unshakable, he wants to capitalize on the moment, he comes up with ideas for arranging the garden. The CEO is impressed by the work in the garden. Nobody puts the two back in the house, but keeps an eye on the gardener's note and feels something is wrong. Looks like the CEO passed a message to the gardener. Nobody catches the gardener before he runs away. The message was, call 911. Nobody was right. The CEO is forcing his hand. Wife is upset that the CEO's decision has put her life at risk. He ends up victimizing himself in front of others, although everyone is in danger now because of his decisions. The atmosphere is tense. Hours pass. Silence is overwhelming. The CEO takes courage. He acts like he's not afraid of nobody. He decides to leave the house, but is stopped by nobody. The CEO starts to give up because of stress. He thinks he doesn't have such a good life. He attacks nobody, but wife takes the offender's defense. The CEO continues to offend nobody, who decides to threaten him with a gun. The situation is degenerating, and nobody shoots the gun, scaring the gardener, who runs away, slips and gets his head stuck in the glass door. He bleeds and dies. The situation is complicated for nobody. Wife is shocked. The CEO is down on his mind. Wife tries to appeal to nobody's human side. The CEO proposes to solve the problem, even says he has someone who can handle the situation. Wife still hopes nobody won't kill them. It's getting dark again. A car stops at the gate, then disappears. Nobody decides wife will go get the money. As she approaches the gate, she seems to feel worse. She finds the money, but as she moves forward she realizes she can leave the property without any problems. She even sees a car passing through the front, but does not react. She decides to take the money and return to the house. CEO tries to talk to wife, promising her a new life, to forget the situation they were put in. He's very relaxed, which can't be said about his wife. Nobody decides to leave when wife tells him about her tattoo, but nobody is not impressed. Before he leaves, he is once again disturbed by the CEO's attitude and returns to him. Wife has a moment when she can get out of the handcuffs. Nobody admits he attacked the CEO for a reason. He seems to know this one. He's disgusted by the CEO. He is disappointed by his life, he is envious of the CEO. However, he knows that the CEO is quite alone. Nobody tells CEO that his wife uses birth control pills and then leaves. Wife comes behind him and kills nobody in a moment lacking of attention. The CEO is energetic and excited when he realizes what his wife has done. He becomes instantly agitated when he realizes that she will not untie him. Wife comes in and shoots the CEO, then tries to wipe her tracks, breathing relief. The end. Now that you got your spoilers right, go watch the full movie to find the missing parts. Thank you for watching the video.